After getting these thin 3D printed lattices to stop A22, the next logical step is bumping this up to the 5.7, which has much better penetration than a typical handgun round like a 9mm or 45 ACP. So how will a panel that just stops a 22 fare against a 5.7? So yeah, I mean, we got some light back face deformation showing up in the clay here. With this armor, you would be looking at some organ displacement, which is not ideal. But we simply need something much harder. Now, of course, we could go with the approach that I did with PCB Way, where they manufactured a steel lattice, which was incredibly strong, and they had good enough precision to be able to make these tiny little nodes resolve for that super panel. Now, if you're curious with the details, of course, this whole video is up on YouTube. I have some three millimeter thick 7075 aluminum alloy here, where we found that a single sheet of this was insufficient for the 5.7, with it drilling right on through, but two layers was enough to be able to get that stoppage. We did get a little bit of sharper back face deformation. This is where we see those lattices shine, where they're able to spread that impact out and resist fracturing so they can remain intact for further impacts while still having some ballistic capabilities such that it could have a chance of catching a higher energy round after it's passed through these harder mediums. But up next, I'm gonna be using the Form Labs Ultra Hard Resins to see if we can make a purely 3D printed part stop the 5.7.